like the Maccabees. We dedicate your temple like the Maccabees. Like the Maccabees. Like the Maccabees. Like the Maccabees. Lenny it's your for you priest. Like the Maccabees. Like the Maccabees. Like the Maccabees. Lenny it's your for you priest. Psalms chapter 111 verse 10 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom The fear, fear and the judgments of not keeping his commandments right. Do they have that in the Christian church? Right. Do they have fear of the judgments of the most high? Oh. Yeah. Listen, I came out of the Christian, most of us come from the Christian church right. When you go to the Christian church, what you see? Our sisters horn themselves out with their right. tight uh, skirts, butt out, titties right. out right. The pastor have a damn uh, pork chop uh, uh, right. barbecue right. On the, after the church Bring service. It oh. right. You understand that? They're not doing what the Bible says. Right. They don't have a fear of the judgment. They don't believe that Christ is going to come back and kill people. That's right. right. They think Christ is going to come back and do what? Right. Give hugs. Right? Right. I'm, you got to understand, our mindset has to change. Right. We have to go by what the Word says. Read that. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's how you start to get understanding. Fear and the judgments. I fear the most high, so I don't eat pork. Right. I fear the most high, so I wear fringes on all my shirts. Right. I fear the most high, so I keep the Sabbath. Right. I deal with my brother right. I don't commit adultery. I don't, you understand? Right. I don't sleep with my brother's wife. Why? Right. Because I fear the most high. Right. Read. A good understanding okay. have Please. all they that do his commandments. One more time. A good understanding have they that do his commandments. That's how you get the understanding of what's going on in this Bible. That's right. That's how you fix your community. Right. By having an understanding of what the word says. Right. Because our people think that you can just do whatever you want to do and be saved. Right. right. Where is that in the Bible? Number 1538. Where is that in the Bible? I'm asking you, where is that? Can you find a scripture that says, come as thou art, stay as, they, as thou art. Where is that at? Do as thy will. That's not in there. Right. But, not but you are taught that. Watch this. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? We are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Yes. Right. Right. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generations. Wait a second. Whoa. For how long? Throughout their generations. This is what a fringe is. If you look around, all these brothers got fringes on their shirt. You understand that? We not, and it's not just these shirts, the purple shirts. It's every shirt that we have. Right. Right. You go buy a shirt from the store and put fringes on it. That's right. Right. You understand? That's a law. Let's see why we got to do it. And that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. So we put a ribbon right above it. I want you to pay attention, brother uh, Christian, right? Watch this. And it shall be unto you for a fringe uh -huh. that ye may look upon it. So that you may what? Look upon it uh -huh. and remember. And all, do what? And remember uh -huh. all the commandments of the Lord. And what? And do them. It's a spiritual reminder to keep God's commandments. That's, that's right. right. Let me tell you something. That's one of the, when you come in, when you have an understanding of this truth, that's one of the easiest commandments to keep. You know why it's a problem for our people? I want y'all to think about it. Why is this small commandment? Why is this a problem for our people? The jump call and willing in. Why? What you? What you mean by that? It's just the system. The system. The system. Okay. What you got, brother Christian? Everybody has their own opinion about what they want to wear and how they want to live. Okay, that's true. That's partially true, right? But the problem is, the the, the fear come in because people don't want nobody, they don't want nobody to see them. Right. You understand that this is a physical reminder. So I can see that you have an understanding of the Bible if you got fringes on your shirt. Right. That's right. It's an outward, uh, 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 give me a word, uh, outward, right. outward appearance. Right. I can just see you from, if, I, if you had on fringes, I know, okay, this brother understands something about this Bible. Right. Right. You understand that? A lot of our people don't want to bring that attention to themselves. Right. They scared yeah, of the, massa. Right. They scared of the so-called white man. Right. We don't give a damn about that. Right. Guess what? We're going to Teach and keep the commandments with boldness. Right. That's, right. Right. That's the kind of mindset we have to be in. It's a spiritual reminder to keep God's commandments. Right. Let me ask you something. Your name is Christian. That's a good name. You follow Christ? I'm a believer. You believe in Christ, right? Let me ask you something. All right, with this law coming out, right? Are you going to start wearing fringes? Yeah, I, I, I can say that. Money-wise, I got a 
pay somebody to do it because I can't do it myself. But you can do it yourself. I know that's right. Ain't no excuse. Ain't no excuse. No I'm gonna show you something. If you follow Christ, understand he wore fringes too. Right. Give me Matthew 9. Somebody give me the Bible dictionary. Bring it out. How y'all doing, sisters? If y'all got time, come talk with us. Learn your nationality according to the Bible. We teach that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yes, right. Right. What you got? Matthew chapter 9 and verse 20. I want you to pay attention, all right? Watch this. And behold, a woman which was deceased with an issue of blood 12 years uh -huh. came behind him. Came hey, behind who? Exactly. Watch this. And touched the hem of his garment. Uh -huh. For she said within herself, if I may put that, excuse me, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. So she had so much faith. She said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be whole. Let's see what the hem of the garment is. Because you might just say, well, she just touched the bottom of his garment. Let's see what it's talking about. The Zonovan Bible Dictionary. Read. Uh, hem of garment. Fringes. Wait, uh, whoa, whoa. Hem of garment is what? Fringes. Is what? Fringes. Uh -huh. Or tassels uh -huh. on the borders of the Jewish outer garment. What's that mean? He had on fringes. That's right. right. So guess what? If you're a follower of Christ, I'm gonna ask you again. Are you gonna wear fringes now? Are you, are you gonna wear fringes? Yeah. I, you, I didn't hear an answer, a response from you. Yes, sir. Why is that important? Why is that important? Except for now. Most importantly, because it's what God asked us to do. Of course, you're absolutely right. But guess what? If you don't do it, what's gonna happen? Curse. Curse? Okay. That that we are already cursed. Right. Right. Because of our disobedience in the past, we've been cursed. Watch this though. It's something else. Zephaniah chapter one and verse eight. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princess and the king's children. Guess what? When Christ come back, that punish is not. Talking about cursing, it's going to be death. Right. 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 And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Guess what? You don't have on fringes. That's strange apparel to the Most High. Right. That's right. Why? Because He gave you, He ordained you to wear something else. That's right. So when you don't have fringes on, guess what? You're in strange apparel. Right. And the judgment of that is death. Right. I'm right. gonna prove it. Give me Zechariah 13 and 8. Let's prove it. So guess what? We come out here to save our people. Why? Because guess what? We're all in a state of destruction. Right. We're all living in destruction. Right. We we're uh, uh what they call us uh y'all ever seen the Walking Dead? Right. Y'all seen that? How those zombies be just walking around? That's us today. Right. That's how our people move. Watch this. Zechariah 13. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. Watch and it shall come to pass that in the day, excuse me, that in all the land, say of the Lord. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. What's that mean, brother Christian? The seed. Huh? The seed. The seed. Two thirds of the Israelites. We're not talking about the uh, so-called white man out in the because they're right. gonna die too. Right. right. But guess what? He said two thirds of his own people are gonna be cut off and right. what? And die. Right. And die. Why? Because they don't want to keep the commandments. They don't want to wear fringes. Right. They don't want to keep the Sabbath. Right. They're going to die because of that. Read. That's right. But the third shall be left therein. That's why we come out here for that third. That one third that's going to change. That's going to repent. It right. don't matter. We can talk out here all day. If one of you brothers repent, we did our job. Right. You understand that? It's about repentance from our, for our people. That's all we out here for. Read that again. Zephaniah, Zechariah, chapter 13 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass. Uh -huh. That in all the land, say of the Lord, uh -huh. two parts therein shall be cut off and die, Read. but the third shall be left therein. Read. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Oh, oh, through the what? Through the fire. What kind of fire is that talking about? Judgment fire. Huh? Hell. Hell, you said? Judgment fire. Judgment fire. I like that you said it. Huh? Lake of fire. Say it again? Lake of fire. The lake of fire. Let's get First Peter 3. We're going to come back. First Peter 3. Let's get that fire. Let's talk about that fire. Because guess what? We got, you got to learn and get yourself right before that fire comes. Right, right. right. You understand? Because it's about doing what? Keeping God's commandments. We don't worry about nonsense. We worry about what the Bible says. Watch That's it. right. That's right. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. Yeah. 
Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. He's going he to come as a thief in the night. Right. When you least Jesus. expect it. Right, right. When you think everything is good. Oh, I don't have to wear my fringes today, man. Right, I'm good. Right. I can read the Bible, have my hair covered. Ain't right. nobody going to see me. Right. Okay, okay. Read. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. What's that talking about, Brother Zion? Or Lion, I'm sorry. It says the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Right. What's that talking about? Finish. Finish. Let me finish. It's talking about that boom. When that bomb drop. Right, right. That's the great noise it's talking about. Right. right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's the fire. Thermal nuclear fire right. is what's going to burn. That's that one. That one thirty said he's going to bring through the fire. This the fire he's talking about. Right. The destruction that's coming to our people that don't listen. That don't want to keep God's commandments. Right. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So guess what? The, the, uh, uh, how you working for that job and that car and that house and all, all that? Right. You think that's going to last when that fire comes? Don't bring it out. That's why our mind has to be focused on this. That's Seek right. ye the kingdom first. Not the things of this world, right. Malachi 4 and 1. Not the things of the world because it's going to be destroyed, brother. You understand? No matter what you got to do today, this first off is the Lord's Sabbath day. Y'all shouldn't be doing anything. That's right. Except learning. That's right. But if you think you got something, you got to understand. What you got to do is not more important than understanding your nationality and how to get right away. Oh, bring it up, oh. That fire is coming. Malachi chapter 4 and verse 1. Pay attention, brother Christian. Don't worry about it. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. The day that it shall do what? Shall burn as an oven. It shall burn as an oven. Every You got to understand this fire. Right. That's why we're telling you about the fringes. The uh, uh, uncovering your head. Keeping the Sabbath. Not eating shrimp, crab, lobster, pork. Right. Keeping the commandments. Read step back. Read. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly uh -huh. shall be stumble shall be stubble they shall be burned to a crisp right right read that's it and the day that cometh shall burn them up uh -huh. saith the lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch there is no remnant left of those that don't want to keep god's commandments right right you understand that now brother yes. christian we got to get to this because you was about to go over Thank you, how brother. do you repent Thank though because that we're teaching you repentance but we went over some laws first a few basic laws but how do you actually repent bring it out yeah, break it down for me, so I know. Basically, repent means to give everything to God and let Him do everything as for who you are, and you submit. You submit to God. Okay. Now, I'm I'm not trying to make you feel any kind of way, but don't the Christian church do that right now? What's changed? You see that? They're not. That's not what true repentance is. Is what I'm trying to get you to understand. That's right. What you got, brothers, uh, lion? What you got? Huh? What's, how do I repent? What's repentance? Uh, repentance is like you telling Yahweh that you sinned against his law and that you want to do right and towards his laws and statutes and commandments. Okay, that's not bad. What is the word repentant? Yeah, I guess. In other words, if you want to act against the nation, it means to, to give up. No, it means to change. Watch this. Acts 3 19. Watch this. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore and be converted. You see that? Repent and be changed. Read. That your sins may be plotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So your goal is to try to repent and get yourself right before Christ returns. Right, You right. want your sins blotted out when Christ come back. Right. Because guess what, when that sky crack, there is no more repentance. Yeah, that's right. That's why it says the day of the Lord is darkness right. and not light. When Christ come back, it's over. There is no, can you forgive me for my sins? I'm trying, I'm changing. Right it's, then, over. No. Right. it's over. Right. You understand? So get right now before he comes back. Read it out up. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be plotted out. When the time of your sins may, excuse me, when the times of your refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Now, what's going to convert us though? What's going to change us? Because we just read that you need to repent, right, before Christ come back. Get your sins blotted out. So what is this thing that's going to convert us? What changes us? Bring it out. Bring it out. 
The Bible? Okay, what you got? Hey, brother, come here. The laws and statutes. The laws and statutes. You have to go by them to get salvation. Absolutely. The highway yeah. is salvation. It right. all comes back to the laws. Brother. That's right. That's right. why I'm asking y'all these questions because I need right. y'all to pay attention. Because you're gonna, y'all gonna need to go back and tell your family. How y'all doing? Y'all got time to listen? Let's know your nationality. We live that day, but why we can't listen by God? Bring it out, sis. I like right, that. Right. I like that. I like. I want y'all to look at this sign real quick. I'm going over repentance with the brothers. Look at this sign. Tell me where you descend from. Read that. Psalms chapter one nine. Excuse me. Chapter nineteen verse seven. All right, we almost done, brother. I know you're getting restless. Watch this. The law of the Lord is perfect. The Bible says the what? The law of the Lord is perfect. Uh huh. Converting the soul. The, so we just read about you had to repent and be converted. The law is what's going to convert you. That's Why? Right. Because we brought the law about not having a, a head covering. What did the brother do? I take it off. took it off. Yeah. Meaning you did what? That's the truth. You, you changed. Yeah. You repented. You That's, right. That's what we're talking about. Right. So it says the laws was going to change you. Now that you know you can't eat shrimp, crab, lobster, and all the other stuff. Now that you know you got to have fringes on, it's time to change. That's right. right. That's how you change. I can't change by just saying, God, forgive me for the sins I committed. I committed adultery. I slept with this brother's wife. Uh, forgive me. Right. And then tomorrow, what you going to do? Same the same damn thing. Right. Why? Because you're not actually changing. Bring you're not out. using the law of the most high to change. You're just doing this. Lip service. Right. Yeah. The most high don't care about that. You understand? Did you finish that? The testimony of the Lord is short, uh -huh. making wise the simple. This is the testimony. It says it makes the it making make it wise the simple. Right. We're all in a simple state until we come back to God's laws. Right. Right. This is why we not keeping God's laws. Hold it up. This is the simple state that we've been in. Slavery, Willie Lynch. Why? Because we broke his commandments. Right. right. So the laws is what's going to convert us and bring us back to our heritage. You right. understand? Uh, go to uh, uh, First Kings. Watch this. I got y'all. Y'all see where y'all just sitting from? Y'all see it? Where y'all from? You're from Alabama, but I want you to look at the sign. On the right hand side, on, 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 which is your left, I'm God just, said, this is the name that God called us. I'm descendant of the tribe of Israel. Okay, we I'm, all are. Yeah. But look right here. And this on, the, on your right black. is what the so-called white man called us in slavery. Yeah. So what, which one are you? I want y'all to pay attention, pay attention. Like okay. First Kings chapter 8 and verse 46. If they if they sin against thee, uh -huh. for there is no man that sinneth not. You see that? We all have been in sin. All of us up here. All of us. There's no man that sinneth not. Right. And thou be angry with them uh -huh. and yeah. deliver them to the enemy so that them so that they carry them away captive unto the land of the enemy uh -huh. far or near. This is us being carried in the land of our enemy. Yeah. Us being in America right now, we're in the land of our enemy. Right. The most high was angry with us. So he delivered us into the hand of our enemy. Right, right, right. right. Watch this. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. The Bible says if you remember that you are not a Negro. Right. You are not an African American. Right. You're not a Hispanic. Right. You are an Israelite. That's right. God said if you remember that. In the land where the, they were carried captive. Uh -huh. And repent. And change. And change. Read. And make supplications unto thee uh -huh. in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, This is how you make supplication. You got to say what? We have sinned. So you got to change and you also got to tell the most how I have sinned. Right. This thing, I did. I, I was breaking your commandments. Right. So it's not just a confession, it's also changing your actions. That's right. Watch this. And have done perversely. Uh -huh. We have committed wickedness. We have done what? Committed wickedness. Three. And so return unto thee. We got to do what? Return unto thee. We got to return to the Most High. We got to return to our heritage as Israelites. Right. We, got, we can't return as an African American. Right. Right. We can't return as a nigga. Right. Uh, that's that's right. not going to get us out of here. Right. Right. We got to understand we the Israelites. That's right. right. And so return unto thee uh -huh. with all their heart. All your heart. And with all their soul. That means you got to give everything you can to the yes. Most High. You got to change your life. Give it all. Yeah, yeah, you in the it. land of their enemies. Where? In the land of their enemies. That's here in Babylon today. All right? In America today. This is the land of our enemies. Read. Right. Which led them away captive and pray unto thee. Excuse me. Unto thee toward their land. God says you got to pray towards your land. Where is our land? What's our homeland? Huh? You said Egypt. What you got? What's our homeland? 
Israel. 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 Okay, let's get out the Bible. Because I can say it, but I want to get out the Bible. Right. Right. <laughs> Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Bring it out. But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. No, Egypt. Jerusalem, uh -huh. which is above, uh -huh. is free. Uh -huh. Which is the mother of us all. Now, you see that? Jerusalem is the motherland. That's right. That's where right. everything started. That's Egypt. right. We've been taught that it was Egypt, but that's not true. That's, that's right. You understand that? Right. Hey. All right. Hold on. Go, go back to where you were. I got you. I got you. Let's sit down, baby. I'm gonna leave. Uh, verse 49. Uh, 48. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive and pray unto thee. Towards their land. So guess what? We're supposed to pray towards the east. Right. Towards the east. Islam do that, right? So people think Islam is the way. They got that from us. Right. The Bible says we pray towards our land. You understand that? Which is Jerusalem. Read. Which thou gavest unto their fathers. The city which thou hast chosen. Which is Jerusalem. Read. And the house which, ha which I have built for thy name. Read. Then. What, so God said, after you do all that. He says, then, then hear thou their prayer. Wait a second. I thought God was hearing our prayers all along. He did. He said, if you not change, if you not repent it, if you not making supplication, he's not dealing. Get John 9, 31, we'll come right back. Because he says, then I will hear your prayers. So guess what that means? If you're not in a state of repentance, if you're not keeping the law, guess what? God ain't dealing with you on no That's level. Right, right, right. Right. And I'm going to prove it with the Bible. John chapter 9 verse 31 Watch this. Watch this. Now we know that God heareth not sinners One more time Now we know that God heareth not sinners So the prayers you're sending up are in vain That's If right. you're not keeping his commandments right. Read Now we know that God heareth not sinners But if any man be a worshiper of God Be a worshiper of God And doeth his will Which is keeping the commandments him, he, hear it. That's when the most I hear you. Go back to That's 1 right. Kings 8 and 49. So God is saying, if you're not keeping my commandments, he's not dealing with you on no level. Right, right. You wonder why you keep, why everything's not working for you. Right. You wonder why you why we still in the ghettos and why we still, why? Because God ain't hearing your prayers at all. Right. Any prayer you put up and you're not keeping the commandments, God is not listening whatsoever. Understand that it's about changing. Bring it's it about on. keeping the commandments. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.